Hi everyone, it's Helen Plass from mumandbaby.ie. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to go through some preparation for labour. So this is when you're in labour, some kneeling um, poses that you can use which are really effective and we're also going to incorporate the ball as well. So remembering the acronym that I, I spoke about, I, I speak about in different videos, um, called RUM, so not to drink, but R for relaxed, U for upright, and M for mobile. So there, there are three really, really important words to try and remember all the time during your labor, during your contractions. Trying to be relaxed, upright, and mobile. And that'll help you have the most active, the fastest type of birth that you, that you want to have. So we're gonna to start today on the hands and knees. We're gonna bring the ball into it in a moment, but first of all, just on the hands and knees. So it's likely at this point, if you're having a hospital birth, it's likely you'll probably be at home for, for, um, for the early part of your labor. So trying to stay at home for as long as you feel as comfortably possible. So it will help you keep relaxed. Okay, so just coming onto the hands and the knees, you don't need a yoga mat. If you're at home, you're probably just on the carpet or on, on um, a blanket. So, we're going to go on to the hands and the knees first of all. And your shoulders are over your wrists. And one thing is that you do want to have the knees quite wide. So, you're obviously in labour, your bump is going to be quite big at this stage. So, it's just giving you and your baby lots of room to move. So, when you feel contractions coming, you want to try and keep movement all in around the hips and the pelvis. This will help your contractions feel much more manageable. So we're going to use the breath, come forward on the hands, big deep breath in through the nose. And then you're going to start to blow out through your mouth, as your bum goes to the right heel, cross to the left heel and bum out to the left. Inhale, exhale. So remember you're having contractions while you're doing this, but you're using your breath. So all you're doing is you're moving your hips, it'll improve the circulation um, to the placenta, to the baby, to your uterus, okay? So there are your hip circles, you can go in both directions. A really simple alternative is just literally wagging from side to side. So coming back down, you can have your knees wide or bring them in a little bit. Um, if you need cushions or anything under the knees to make you more comfortable, then obviously you do whatever you need. So literally wagging is as it says on the tin, just bringing the hips side to side, you can close your eyes, focusing on those long deep breaths in and long controlled exhales out. Simple as that, wagging from side to side. When you're not having a contraction, you want to rest into any pose that will allow your body to completely relax, almost fall asleep for a moment or two, and a really good pose for that is child pose, okay? So it's a classical resting yoga pose. So knees again, nice and wide. You're gonna sit your bum to your heels and then rest the hands and the head down, whatever way is comfortable for you. Your head can reach the blanket or arms stretch out in front or down by your side or coming up, making little fists of the hands and resting the head down. So, it's really important when you're not having contractions to focus on getting all that really good quality oxygen, fresh oxygen back into your body, into the bloodstream, which again, which will help your body, the uterus cope with the contractions. Okay, if um, incidentally you are feeling all your contractions and a lot of pain in your back, particularly down the lower back, maybe down into the buttocks, you might be experiencing back labour. If you're experiencing back labour, you will live on your hands and knees. So um, this is a really good uh, few poses to practice. I'm gonna bring in the ball now, using any exercise ball. Um, just make sure it's a good height for you, so practice it and make sure it's pumped up. Um, so again, the hips are nice and wide and you're using the upright part of your acronym run. So gravity has an important part to play in your labour. So with the ball, you can do the same thing. Some people just might be more comfortable with the ball. So again, practice how you feel. You can just wait, you bring your weight onto the ball and still do your hip circles. So it's still the same thing. You're just rolling from side to side in the hips, using the ball, rolling in, rolling around and using your breath. Or you can rest then on the ball. So when you're not having contraction, just popping your head down or even 
wiggling here, bringing a little bit of movement on the ball. They're all just different ways of practicing. Okay, another one I find really useful with the ball is doing some lunges, which are really accessible in this position. So if you're having a contraction and you're doing some um, hip circles, you can lean on the ball and take your foot forward and then you're going to start to rock forwards and backwards. So what I'm doing here is I'm opening the diameter, I'm increasing the diameter of my pelvis. So this is a really good strategy to use to open up the pelvis, to allow the baby's head get right down, pressing onto the ligaments, pressing onto the cervix, which will all help speed up your natural dilation. So again, you're just leaning onto the ball, you can relax here, you can be talking to someone, you can be watching telly, whatever, whatever you can go with, and then just rocking forwards and backwards, okay? Also, from a pushing perspective, you can be on the hands and the knees or on the ball as well. So again, you're opening into the pelvis, giving baby more room to come out. Okay, so there you have it. Just a few simple poses, good positionings from yoga, good positionings to allow yourself to have a comfortable labour, doing your hip circles, using your breath, and you'll be all set for a rock star labour and birth. Thanks so much. See you next time.